SM Sally. And it follows a lesbian couple, Jamie and Jill, that start going to BDSM clubs. And they're kind of what you might call a traditional uh, butch femme couple. And uh, Jill, the femme one in the relationship, decides that she wants to be the dominant one when they go to the clubs. And Jamie, the traditionally butch one, kind of has a bit of a crisis about this. Um, so that's one of the plot lines, and then there's another plot line that follows um, the dynamics of a competition revolving around a threesome and seeing who's going to back out first. For me, it's important to tell the story for a few different reasons. One, I think that I see a lot of the same sort of the status quo type things in queer cinema, and so I like the idea of exploring something different, a little bit unconventional uh, in terms of a little bit of a role reversal with this butch femme relationship, in terms of exploring BDSM, in terms of exploring polyamory, and just kind of exploring something that we're not, that we don't see a lot in queer cinema. They put me in the closing night slot, which was really cool. Um, and it's cool to be in town and be a part of the festival and meet the people here and, and get to get to have a sense of what it's like to be queer in Little Rock. Um, and I've met a lot of queer people who actually really love, that love Arkansas and love Little Rock. And some people want to leave too, but I it was interesting for me to hear their stories because you kind of come in from a bigger city thinking, you know, wh wh why, why do you stay in a, in a place that you may not be as embraced or you may not have the variety or the opportunity? And so it's been really cool to hear people that are passionate about, about the area. And, and that state, a lot of people stay for the political, like we're staying to improve it and to make it better for other people. And there's something really admirable about that. Mm -hmm.